Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to discuss nested if statements in C. In this sample program, we're going to sell movie tickets. If a user is a student, they get a 10% discount. If they're a senior, they get a 20% discount. If they're both a student and a senior, they get a 30% discount. Here's one way in which we can write this program using nested if statements. We'll be working with booleans. We'll need to include the following header file. Include std bool.h. Let's declare our variables. We'll create a floating point variable for a price. I'll set the price to be 10.00 for $10.00. Let's create a Boolean variable of is student. I'll set this to be true right away. Now, if is student is true, within our if statement, we can check that. If this variable is true, let's print the following message. You get a student discount of 10%. My IDE VS code, it thinks I have an incomplete format specifier here. That's why it's red. You can just ignore that. Because normally with percent signs, we use a format specifier. Then we just have to lower the price by 10%. Let's take our price equals price times 0 0.9. That will do the trick. Just to shorten this, you can use an augmented assignment operator by using times equals 0 0.9. Price equals price times 0 0.9. That's going to do the same thing. Then outside of the if statement, let's print the total price. We'll say the price of a ticket is, I'll add, pick a unit of currency, I'll pick American dollars. I'll need to insert a format specifier. We're displaying a floating point number, we need F. I would only like to display two digits after the decimal. I'll set the precision to be two with 0 0.2, 0 0.2F. Gonna need some new line characters. And then I will insert my price here. All right, let's do a test run. Currently I'm a student. You get a student discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is nine dollars. Now what if I wasn't a student? I'll set this to be false. The price of a ticket is ten dollars. We're paying the full price. I'll add a comment before we proceed that says 10% discount if we're a student if that's true. Now what if somebody's a senior? Cool. I mean bool. Bool is senior. I'll set that to be true. If somebody's a senior, they get a 20% discount. But if they're a student and a senior, they'll receive a total of 30. Just as a few comments, I'm going to lay out the full prices. A student should only pay $9. A senior is going to pay $8. And if they're a student and a senior, the total should be $7. What we're going to avoid is giving them a 10% discount off the 10. That's going to be $9. And then giving them 20% off of $9. I think that's going to be $7.20 when they really should be paying 7 What I'm about to write is what we want to avoid. If I was to write an if statement outside of the already existing if statement, where we check if is senior is true, we're going to give the user a senior discount, and I'll just copy these two lines of code and paste them. You get a senior discount of 20%, and we're going to multiply the price by 0 0.8. If is student is true, and is senior is true, we end up paying $7.20, even though it should be seven. That's because we're taking 20% off of $9, rather than 10 which is where we got the extra 20 cents from. One way in which we can write this program is to use nested if statements. Let's cut this if statement and paste it within our if statement. Pay attention to the indentation too and the sets of curly braces. If somebody's a student and a senior, the total price of a ticket should be $7. Let's move this print statement where somebody's a student 
and move it to within the nested if statement. You get a student discount of 10%. You get a senior discount of 20%. And the price is going to be 70% of what it is normally. Let's cut this line of code where we reduce the price by 10%. We're going to add an else statement. If somebody's a student, we enter this block of code. If they're also a senior, we enter this block of code. If they're a student, but not a senior, we'll only lower the price by 10%. Let's copy this print statement. You get a student discount of 10%. Then we will take our price and reduce it by only 10%. 0 0.9. So far, so good. What if the user is not a student? Well, we don't end up giving them that senior discount because the only way to access this block of code is if somebody is a student. Why don't we add an else clause to the outer if statement? If we're within the else statement, that means the user is not a student, but we still have to check if there's that senior discount. We'll add a nested if statement within our else statement. I'll just copy this block of code, this nested if statement, paste it, then get rid of that student discount. The price is going to be reduced by 20%. Price equals price times 0.8. All right, and that should work. Let me zoom out so you can see it. This is what our full program should look like. Let's do a test run. Initially, I'll set is student to be false. Same thing with is senior. We're going to be paying $10. The price of a ticket is $10. If we're a student, we should receive a 10% discount. You get a student discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is $9. What if we're not a student, but we're a senior? You get a senior discount of 20%. The price of a ticket is $8. What if we're a student and a senior? You get a student discount of 10%. You get a senior discount of 20%. The price of a ticket is $7, rather than $7.20. That was when we weren't using nested if statements. Alright everybody, so those are nested if statements. It gives you different branches of decision making. But in the future, there's more advanced techniques, such as using the and logical operator. We could check if is student is true and is senior is true. But this is a future topic we'll discuss later. And well everybody, those are nested if statements in C.